love Love is Blind. Uh, first at 10, though, we do want to show you how Metro is helping make a wish come true for a very special 10-year-old. Our Melanie Almick, she's live in Friendship Heights with an emotional story. Good morning, Mel. <laughs> So we just saw 10-year-old Jacob, and his family is so emotional. It's a one holiday. We just talked to his granddaughter, and his uncle told us that there haven't been a lot of happy days for Jacob's family. He's been in and out of the hospital. He's out of the hospital today to celebrate his 10th with Metro. His make a wish was to be here on a Metro bus and be able to sit next to a Metro driver. Let me show you the inside of the bus. We were able to take a little tour of it. And this was decorated by Metro employees. Mm -hmm. It is so it's wonderful. So and you know, Metro says that they really haven't had uh, any requests in the past for someone to want to ride a Metro bus. And the Make a Wish Foundation told us that this was a really easy one to grant. Uh, here's what they told us. Jacob's wish was really simple. He wanted to ride a Metro bus, sit next to the driver, and have his name on uh, the, the description on the front of the bus. And Wamada's making it happen for him. The team worked hard to actually decorate the bus for Jacob, so when he gets here, we're really hoping that he's thrilled and excited about it. Uh, this is our first request through Make-A-Wish, so not in, not, I've been here almost 25 years, and we've never gotten received such a request. So we're just humbled to be able to actually execute and provide him such a special request today. He's going to get on the bus. He's going to have his own motorcade. He's going to ride down Wisconsin Avenue, him and his family, uh, go through Georgetown, and come back to our Western Bus Garage. And hopefully we make this a special day for him. We actually have a birthday cake that has a bus on it. So it's, it's, it's just humble, humbling. And so the bus is going to take a tour, as you heard from uh, Leroy Jones say, the bus is going to take a tour around D.C. It's going to go through Georgetown. And what they're saying is this really is a community celebration. If you're anywhere here in D.C. and you see this bus that says, make a wish, Jacob, on it, wave, say happy 10th birthday to Jacob. Mid-Atlantic Mid uh, Make-A-Wish also wants you to know they grant wishes every single day. But this one is really cool because it's so simple and so heartfelt, and it brings all of Metro in. We're going to send it back to you guys. It just goes to show you, Melanie, sometimes it doesn't take a lot, right? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, 10's a big deal. Jacob's turning double That's digits today. So you got to do something special on your 10th birthday. So yeah. can you tell us again, Melanie, like, what was his reaction or his family's reaction? I, could, I can just dream of what his little face was like when he saw the bus. Uh, you know, he was so excited and so happy, and the family was excited, too, because this was a big surprise. And he waved, but then, you know, a little emotional, a little overwhelmed by the whole thing. And, and it, it is a lot for a 10-year-old to take in. So uh, he did come up to the front, and you see some of his family here talking with, uh, with Make-A-Wish uh, CEO Leslie Creedon. And um, in a little bit, they're going to get ready to take off. But it was definitely a, uh, a really emotial experience for Jacob, for sure. But I think now, initially, the nerves are going to wear off. And once that bus takes off, he's going to really get to enjoy oh, it. Enjoy yeah. it. You know what? Well, it's not every ten-year-old gets, you know, news crews to show oh, yeah. up yeah. 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 at their birthday the party. So I can understand it being overwhelming. Mel, thank you so much. What a special a day! Wow, yeah. so beautiful. Thank you, Mel, for that story.